Well, here it is, day five. It's Friday, our last day together. Today we're going to sing so, of some of the best songs from this week. But first, let's start with one more time, I Will Be Your Friend. From Monday, we learned a song called Austrian Wet Yodeling, and we learned that Austria is a different country than Australia. And in Austria, they have a type of singing called yodeling. And our Austrian friend came across several things. Do you remember what our Austrian friend discovered? He came across a avalanche. Ready? Whoosh! What else did he discover? He met a grizzly bear, grr, grr. And he also met a St. Bernard. <laughs> and then he met an alien. Probably not in real life, but it's still fun to do. Neener, neener. All right, let's see if we can do this song together. Here we go. Well, an ostrin went yodeling on a mountain top high. When along came an avalanche interrupting his cry. Yodele, 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 whoosh. Yodele, yodele, whoosh. Yodele, yodele, whoosh. Yodele, yodele. Well, an ostrin went yodeling on a mountain. Tin top high when along came a grizzly bear interrupting his cry. Yodelay, 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 grr, grr, whoosh. Yodelay, yodelay, grr, grr, whoosh. Yodelay, yodelay, grr, grr, whoosh. Yodelay, yodelay, well, and Austrian went yodeling on a mountain top high. When along came a St. Bernard interrupting his cry. Yodeling, 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 grr, grr, whoosh. Yodeling, yodeling, grr, grr, whoosh. Yodeling, yodeling, Grr, grr, whoosh. Yodele, yodele. Well, an ostrin went yodeling on a mountain top high. When along came an alien interrupting his cry. Yodele, yodele, yodele. Neener, neener. Grr, grr, whoosh. Yodele, yodele. Neener, neener, grr, grr, whoosh. Yodele, yodele, neener, neener, grr, grr, whoosh. Yodele, yodele. Wonderful job. All right, our next song is going to be A Sailor Went to CCC. And we discovered there's two different types of seas. There is C as in the ocean, and then there's C as in C with their eyes. Let's see if you remember this song. And when we get to the word C, let's do those motions that we did in the beginning. Let's try it. Here we go. A sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. But all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. Wonderful. If you remember, I added some body percussion afterwards. So our C in the ocean became pat, pat, pat. 
and our C with our eyes became clap, clap, clap. Let's see if we can try that. Here we go. A sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. But all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. Great. Now, I know with Miss Shank, you learn how to turn some of the things that you have in your home and turn them into instruments. So I want you to find two items that you have made with Miss Shank or anything else that you can find in the house that you can use as instruments. I have a couple classroom instruments with me that I'm going to use today. I have a pair of rhythm sticks and I have a hand drum. Now, if you are by yourself, you can try to play both of these instruments. If you're watching this video with a sibling or a parent or someone else in the house, my challenge is to give one instrument to you and the other instrument to the other person. Here's what you're going to do. I want you to think about the instruments you have. What, which one would make a good C, C, or C, C, C sound as in the ocean? And what one would make a good C, C, C sound for your eyes? I'm thinking that I might take my hand drum and go C, C, C and scrape the drum to make the w sound of the waves. And then when I have the C as my, as my eyes, I'm going to use my rhythm sticks. If you need to pause the video and try out different instruments and see what you think would work best, you can do that. All right, do you have it figured out? If you're by yourself, I want you to see if you can play both instruments. It's going to be a little tricky. If you're doing this with someone, one person choose C as the ocean and the other person do C as your eyes. You ready? Let's try it. A sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. But all that he could see, see, see was the bottom of the deep blue sea, sea, sea. How'd you do? Now, here's the catch. This whole time, I've been doing it with you. If I were to grab my ukulele and play it without me playing the instruments, could you do it without me? Let's try. I'm going to pause the video because I realize I don't have a ukulele in front of me. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to magically appear. Let's try it. Here we go. A sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. But all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. Here's the final catch. If you are doing this with a sibling or a parent, can you switch instruments and switch words? Let's try it. One last time. Here we go. A sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. But all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. Great job, friends. All right, our next song is called Frog in the Meadow. Let's sing it again and find a way to keep the steady beat. Maybe on your head, on your shoulder, on your nose. Let's try it. Here we go. Frog in the meadow can't get him out. Take a big stick and stir him about. Wonderful. Now, I don't have my beat buddy frog with me today. Instead, I've got this teeny tiny little frog. See him? And we're going to play a game with this frog. Here I've got three cups. One, two, three. I'm going to stick this little guy under one of the cups. And then we're going to sing the song. I want you to find another way to keep the steady beat. But while you're singing the song and keeping the steady beat, I want you to see if you can follow where our frog is. Let's see. Ready? Here we go. Frog in the meadow can get him out. Take a big stick and stir him about. Now, do you think our frog is under cup number one? Two or three? What do you think? Let's try. Is he under number one? Nope. Is he under number two? 
There he is. Were you right? Let's see if we can try it again. I'm gonna put him under number three to start with this time. Here we go. Choose a different body part to keep the steady beat on. Here we go. Frog in the meadow, can't get him out. Take a big stick and stir him about. Did you follow along? Let's see, is he under number one? Nope. Is he under number two? Nope, which means he is under number three. Were you correct? Let's try it one last time. I'm gonna put him back under number two. Oops, to start. Here's the last one. Find one more way to keep the steady beat. Here we go. Frog in the meadow, can't get him out. Take a big stick and stir him about. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> Here we go. Frog in the meadow, can't get him out. Take a big stick and stir him about. What do you think? Let's try it. Cup number one? Nope. Cup number two? Nope, that means he's under cup number three. One last time. I hope you enjoyed this game, and this is a game that you can do with your parents or siblings at home as well. Let's end our last class by singing, Our God is a Great Big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. He is higher than a skyscraper, deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond.